At this point in time, I'd like to call this meeting of the Middlesex County Board of Chosen Freeholders to order. Please rise for a moment of silence. Dennis, look to the flag, please. Madam Clerk. The notice of this meeting pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act NJSA 10 colon 4 10 has been complied with and shall be entered into the minutes of this meeting. Roll call. Freeholder Barabalante. Here. Freeholder Delina. Here. Freeholder Polos. Freeholder Rios. Freeholder Tamaro. Here. Freeholder Valenti. Freeholder Director Afano. Here. At this point in time, we need to deviate from the regular order of business to introduce two ordinances. The clerk will read ordinance number 11-369A by title only. Bond ordinance amending bond ordinance number 369, undertaking of 2007 capital improvements at and for certain facilities of Middlesex County College, which are entitled to state aid pursuant to chapter 12 of the laws of New Jersey of 1971, heretofore finally adopted by the County of Middlesex, State of New Jersey on April 5, 2007, to amend the description therein, authorizing the public hearing to be held on Thursday, December 15, 2011, at 7 p.m. and publication thereof. I need a motion to adopt Ordinance 11-369A on first reading. So moved. Second. Motion by Freeholder barrett Belante, seconded by Freeholder Tamaro. Roll call. Freeholder barrett Belante. Yes. Freeholder Delina. Yes. Freeholder Tamaro. Yes. Freeholder Director Afano. Yes. Next, the clerk will read ordinance number 11-397 by title only. Bond ordinance providing for the undertaking of 2011 capital improvements at and for certain facilities of Middlesex County College located within the County of Middlesex, State of New Jersey, appropriating $8,500,000, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of $8,500,000 bonds or notes of the County of Middlesex, State of New Jersey, for financing such appropriation, the principal of an interest on the aggregate principal amount of which will be entitled to state aid pursuant to Chapter 12 of the Laws of New Jersey of 1971 and authorizing the public hearing to be held on Thursday, December 15, 2011 at 7 p.m. and publication thereof. I need a motion to adopt Ordinance Number 11-397 on first reading. So moved. Second. Motion by Freeholder Barapalante, second by Freeholder Tamara. Roll call. Freeholder Barapalante? Yes. Freeholder Delina? Yes. Freeholder Tamara? Yes. Freeholder Director Afano? Yes. I need a motion to resume the regular order of business. So um, moved. Second. Motion by Freeholder Barapalante, seconded by Freeholder Tamara. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. Proclamations. Recognizing November 2011 as Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month in Middlesex County, and Freeholder Barrett will make that presentation. Freeholder. Mr. Weinstein is here. Come on up, sir. <laughs> Instead of reading this, I'm going to speak from my heart. Uh, Freeholder Rios is not here tonight, um, and but pancreatic cancer is very close and dear to our heart to find a cure for it. Um, very close friend of mine is now has pancreatic cancer and they're doing hospice and Freelda Rios's mother passed away from pancreatic cancer and and we on the freeholder board know uh, how important it is for research to find a cure for this uh, deadly disease and um, and we have to really focus focus on that it's uh, so I have this, um, it's hard for me to talk about, <laughs> about this, but I am very proud uh, to give you um, this resolution 
and know from the from all of our hearts on the freeholder board how much we want a cure for this deadly disease and thank you so much for everything you. that you've done i know you want to speak yes. but i think they want to take a picture <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. On a personal note, I would like to thank the freeholders for allowing me to speak here again tonight. This is the third year I've been back here now. And on behalf of the New Jersey affiliate of the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, I would like to uh, thank you for this proclamation as well. The Pancreatic Cancer Action Network is the only national organization that's dedicated to finding a cure for pancreatic cancer and by helping those currently battling this disease through a comprehensive program of research, education and outreach, patient support, as well as advocacy for a cure. I'm here tonight because on November 26, 2005, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And at that time, reading the statistics and listening to what the doctors told me, there is no way imaginable that I would ever think that I would be here tonight. During those almost six years, Saturday will be six years, the only thing that has changed about pancreatic cancer is that every year the number of people diagnosed with this lethal disease increases, and it's expected that more than 44,000 will be diagnosed this year with pancreatic cancer. And the other number that changes is that the number of people who die from it increases, and there is estimated to be over 38,000 dying from it this year. All of the other numbers have stayed the same since in the six years that I've been diagnosed, as well as the last 40 years since the National Cancer Act was passed by Congress. And those numbers are just astounding. Almost 50% die within the first three to six months of diagnosis. 74% die within the first year. And only 6% survive for a five year. Uh, that is why it is so amazing that I am here to speak to you tonight, being of that small number of that 6% category. And it has become the fourth deadliest cancer in America. And in spite of all of these horrible numbers, the National Cancer Institute only dedicates 2% of their budget to pancreatic cancer research. These are things that have to change. They have to change now. We cannot wait another 40 years when our children and grandchildren are diagnosed for them to turn around and say, there still has been no change in finding a cure for this horrible, horrible disease. I would like to also thank the freeholders of Middlesex because they also came out in support of a bill that's before Congress H.R. 733 and Senate 362, which is the <coughs> Pancreatic Cancer Research and Education Act. And we thank you for coming out in support of that bill as well. In that bill, it is uh, mandated for the National Cancer Institute to come up with a strategic plan on how they're going to deal with pancreatic cancer and, and look towards a, towards a goal of a cure for pancreatic cancer. Uh, so I urge all of you to go to www.pancan.org to find out more about the organization as well as finding out more <coughs> about pancreatic cancer in general. If anyone would like to speak to me, you can reach me at mweinstein, W-E-I-N-S-T-E-I-N, at pancanvolunteer.org. It's not just when we hear of someone famous such as Steve Jobs or Patrick Swayze that uh, it affects us that we are aware of it, but as you heard, it affects all of us, our families, our neighbors, and our fellow 
county members as well as members of the board. So thank you very much for this proclamation, proclamation which will raise awareness here in Middlesex County, and that's what we need to do is raise awareness until we do make changes in how things are done. So thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank you. Resolutions, member resolutions. Recognizing <coughs> Eric Aronowitz of the Borough of South Plainfield on the occasion of his retirement, it was presented at a party on November 16th. Recognizing Danellen Police Chief Gerard Capella on the occasion of his retirement, will be presented at a party on November 26th. Recognizing the 30th anniversary of the ordination of Father William Smith, St. Anthony of Padua, Port Reading, and Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Woodbridge, and it was presented at a dinner. Recognizing Matthew Seal of Piscataway as he is the 2011 recipient of the NJAC Foundation Wells Fargo Scholarship. Recognizing Ravinder Pingila of Fords as he is the 2011 recipient of the NJAC Foundation Verizon Scholarship. And Freeholder Barapalante will present that. And recognizing Robert Wood Johnson Health and Wellness Center on the occasion of its opening in the borough of Carteret and it was presented at an event on November 1st. Need a motion to adopt? So moved. Second. Motion by Fielder Tamara, seconded by Fielder Barapalante. Roll call. Freeholder Barapalante? Yes. Freeholder Delina? Yes. Freeholder Tamaro? Yes. Freeholder Director Afano? Yes. Freeholder? You're on. Did uh, Matthew get here? Okay. Can, should we mail it or you'll take it? Um, yeah, there's a check in here. Huh? This is both of them. Both of them? Oh, okay. Whereas it has come to the intention of Middlesex County Board of Chosen Freeholders that Ravinder Pig, Pig, Ping Lee, okay, is worthy of special recognition as he receives the 2011 NJAC Foundation <coughs> Verizon Scholarship. Um, it is my great honor, if you'll come up, I think we have the checks here. Uh, yes. And your, and your scholarship. This is a deep. Thank you. <laughs> this will help, right? Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Did you want to say a couple words? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would just like to thank the freeholders for giving me this opportunity. It, it'll, it'll really help me out in my education. Thank you. You're welcome. Each freeholder has been provided with a list of correspondence received by the clerk's office since our last meeting. This correspondence will be kept on file in the office of the clerk of the board for reference. Need a motion to accept the correspondence? So moved. Second. Motion by <coughs> Fielder Barrett Belante, seconded by Fielder Tamara. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. We have some open space correspondence. Request from Carteret Mayor Daniel Ryman for open space funds to be used towards improvements to Carteret Park. 
Request from Edison Mayor Antonia Resigliano for open space funds to purchase block 112 lot 5.03, which abuts Papiani Park, to extend its boundaries. Request from Perth Amboy Mayor Wilda Diaz for the open space acquisition of 5.9 acres of property to expand the park system. I need a motion to refer these requests to the open space committee. So moved. Second. Motion by Fiola Barrett Bellante, seconded by Fiola Tamara. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. I need a motion to adopt minutes of the May 5th and 19th, 2011 freeholders meeting. So moved. Second. Motion by Fielder Barrett Bellante, seconded by Fielder Tamara. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Now it's time for reports of freeholders. Fielder Carol Barrett Bellante. I have no report this evening, uh, Freeholder Director. I just would like to take the time to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving holiday and a very safe and healthy holiday. And we'll see you after Thanksgiving. Thank you, Freeholder. Freeholder Delina. Wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. God bless you. Take care. Don't eat too much, though. <laughs> Thank you, Freeholder. Freeholder uh, Tamara. Thank you, Director. Um, first, with, uh, with uh, heavy heart and much regret, uh, we're accepting the, um, the retirement of Richard Hills, who is the uh, division head of solid waste management. And uh, we, we accept it with much regret and, and wish he can stay on. But I you know he wants to do other things. And, but I just want to read something that was handed to me tonight from, from, from Richard, and it's his legacy. It's about his legacy, basically, for our, especially for our recycling. Uh, I am pleased to announce that New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection has recently re released the final and official solid waste generation and recycling rates in New Jersey for 2009. Based upon the disposal and recycling tonnage data collected and reported by the DEP, Millsex County recycling rate for 2009 is 62.8%, ranking number two in a state of 21 counties. I am proud to say that Millsex County remains the only county in the state of New Jersey to meet or exceed 60% recycling rate established by the state for 13 of the last 15 years in which the county ranked number one for four of those years. During the 15-year period from 1995 to 2009, Millsex County has generated a total of 31,824,000 499 tons of waste. We have recycled tw almost 20 million tons, or an average of 62.59% of our total solid waste stream. This trend continues to result in extending the life of our landfill in East Brunswick, thus providing Millsex County with the ability and economically dispose of its solid waste in an environmentally sound manner for many years into the future. I feel it's important to recognize this accomplishment results from the uh, concerted efforts and support of the county's numerous recycling initiatives by the Board of Chosen Freeholders, the Millsex County Improvement Authority, the Millsex County Utilities Authority, the Division of Environmental Health, the, the Division of Solid Waste Management, the Municipal Recycling Coordinators, and most of the residents and businesses of Millsex County. Um, great job, Richard, and you will sorely be missed by, um, by us in the county. Um, wish you well in your retirement. I also want to extend my uh, wishes for a happy Thanksgiving, and I also want to thank all the voters who voted for Carol and I in this last election, uh, and um, you know, have a great Thanksgiving. Thank, thank you, Director. Thank you, Freeholder. Mr. Kelso, <coughs> any resolutions to be amended? Uh, there are none. To be added? There are none. To be held? Yes, Resolution 11-1969 uh, is to be held. To be voided? Uh, there are none. At this point in time, I'd like to open to the public uh, discussion on any resolutions that are on the agenda for tonight. Anyone from the public on any, any agenda items? I motion to close the public portion. I have a motion from Fiola Tamara to close. Oh. I need a second. I'll second that. Okay, motion by Fiola Tamara, seconded by Fiola Barrett Bellante uh, to close the public discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. Do you still have any resolution that you wish to have removed from the consent agenda and voted on separately? I have one, but um, <clears throat> um, 1899, 11 1899, Director. Anybody else? Mr. Gelso? 
Uh, yes, Director. Uh, motion would be in order then to adopt the consent agenda consisting of resolution numbers 11 1857 through 11 2043, excluding resolution 11 1969 to be held and resolution 11 1899 to be voted upon separately. I need a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by uh, Freelder Barrett Belante, seconded by Freelder Tamara. Roll call. Freelder Barrett Belante? Yes. Freeholder Delina? Yes. Freeholder Tamara? Yes. Freeholder Director Rafano? Yes. And now, Director, it would be appropriate to consider the resolution excluded by Freeholder uh, Barrett Belante, and that's resolution 11 1899. Need a motion? So moved. Motion by Freeholder Tamara. I'll second that. Seconded by myself as Director. I need a roll call. Freelder Barrett Belante? Present, not voting. Freeholder Delina? Yes. Freeholder Tamara? Yes. Freeholder Director Afano. Yes. Okay, at this point in time, I'd like to open the meeting up to public on any item. Any item? Anybody from the public? I need a motion to close. So moved. Second. Motion by Freeholder Barrett Belante, second by Freeholder Tamara. Um, roll call. Freeholder Barrett Belante? Yes. Freeholder Delina? Yes. Freeholder Tamara? Yes. Freeholder Director Afano? Yes. Now I need a motion to adjourn the meeting. So, so moved. moved. <laughs> motion by Freeholder Tamara, seconded by Freeholder Barrett Pallante. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Meeting adjourned.